Around the world, forests provide us with undeniable benefits. They clean our air, filter our water, and store carbon. The forests of China hold no exception. Local communities depend on them for their livelihoods, and all of us depend on them to maintain a healthy climate. But recent decades of intense industrial logging have left communities and wildlife both competing for scarce forest resources. No one understands these stresses better than Ma Jin, Director of Conservation Programs for the Nature Conservancy, who has been working since 2005 to help restore China's forests and maintain them into the future. Before 1998, China's forests were under tremendous pressure from logging, the major economic driver. This logging has both reduced the size of wildlife habitat and also fragmented habitat, creating an enormous threat to animals such as the panda, golden monkeys, and takin, just to name a few. The disappearance of these forests has also reduced people's quality of life, creating an unfavorable environment and losing all the important services we receive from forests, like providing fresh water, clean air, and preventing erosion. The 1998 prohibition on commercial logging sent the government to start restoring China's forests. For many reasons, however, these restored forests have been of low quality. A healthy restored forest requires careful preparations and forest management efforts afterwards. We provide the technical expertise. This project with TNC has a long-term focus. Past projects just planted trees for a few years and then it's done, no follow-up. But this project will last for at least 30 years, and there will be people managing these forests for their duration. Residents in the communities plant the trees. They have many years of experience, and they know exactly what to do. By working closely with local communities, they see the value in these new forests, and how they not only improve the environment, but also provide a source of income. Most of my income is from farming, but I also raise chickens and pigs and depending on the season, I am able to sell medicines or mushrooms from the forest. When there's tree planting work, I'll also do that. This work earns a significant amount of income. We're paid on a daily basis for planting trees, about 200 RMB a day. I use this money to help my kids go to school and also on household necessities like farming tools and other things. All of TNC's conservation work in China seeks to produce tangible and impactful results. This project will store huge amounts of carbon, it will provide local communities with stable revenue and an improved local environment, and it will also restore natural habitat for wildlife. Help us to restore the forests of China.